two young men are already receiving so much attention as a result of their innovation. They designed their machine with little knowledge and resources, and in fact did so out of frustration caused by the high cost of testing prototype circuit boards and the protracted process involved in tests. Testing a prototype circuit in any unit from a mobile phone to a computer can cost up to 200,000 rand, about $15,000. We wanted to create a certain product, the smart oscilloscope that you can connect to your tablet, to test the signal wherever you are, your cell phone is broken, you want to see what's wrong in your cell phone or your electronic board that you want to test what's wrong with it. We wanted to create a device like that one. So we, we sat down with my partner then to to say what do we need in order for us to create a prototype that you can take to an investor and say, I've created something like this, I want you to invest in this kind of product. After developing the first mobile computer numerical control machine prototype, Ntloko found there was massive demand for testing the viability of prototypes within communities. There is a demand for, for, for testing prototypes in our local communities in terms of not only in South Africa, also in Africa as, as, as well. Um, people, they've got ideas, then they design whatever you want to design, you have to send it to somebody else who's going to charge a lot of money to produce it. But if there's a mistake in that, you still have to be charged for that. So if you have access to the kind of the tools that you do to develop, you are able to quickly test your, 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 your prototype and see if it works. Then if it does not work, you redesign and also and, 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 and produce another prototype that is working. Ntloko says the technology is user-friendly. A person with no knowledge of computing can have a basic understanding of how to test a prototype within a day. It is, yeah. Our machine is very user friendly. When we're visiting some of the potential customers, yeah, they are sitting with these machines there in, 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 in universities, colleges. They can't use them, yeah, because you need as an engineer, you're waiting for an engineer to come and use the machine and all that, to, to, to show you how to use a machine. And uh, the machines that are developed in, like, by other companies, like you'll find that they are developed for somebody who's got skills in terms of computing and all that. Yeah. But our machine is made for a guy on the street. Nkloko emphasizes that this journey has not been easy, but government has been of great assistance. Nkloko's idea caught the attention of the Grassroots Innovation Program. It's an initiative of the Department of Science and Technology. The program has now incubated Nkloko's company to produce more computer numerical control machines. Yodisan Jamela, CGTN, Cape Town, South Africa.